on May 16th, 2024, Take-Two held their Q4 earnings conference call, where they greatly narrowed down the release date for GTA 6. With fiscal 2025 underway, our portfolio is gaining momentum, and we have many exciting releases planned for the year. We expect net bookings to be in the range of $5.55 to $5.65 billion, representing 5% year-over-year growth. Our, our outlook reflects a narrowing of Rockstar Games' previously established window of calendar 2025 to fall of calendar 2025 for Grand Theft Auto 6. We're highly confident that Rockstar Games will deliver an unparalleled entertainment experience, and our expectations for the commercial impact of the title continue to increase. While they didn't confirm the exact date, they did confirm the release date will be in fall of 2025, which, while being rather unsurprising, is still nice to have a general idea of when the game is coming out. It's possible the game could end up being delayed to 2026, but seeing how confident Take-Two is in their full release window, it's really unlikely. On the change to the guidance, and the outlook. What is your level of confidence, Strauss, in the calendar 25 launch of GTA 6? And is there anything else more specific you can talk about behind that postponement? Well, we actually narrowed calendar 2025 to fall of 2025, and we feel really good about that release date, and obviously we feel great about the title that is to come. So we should have our hands on GTA 6 within the next 580 days, with the most likely dates being October 21st and October 28th, given how Rockstar likes releasing their games in October and on Tuesdays. Take-Two didn't really give us much else other than narrowing down the release date. However, there was a couple of questions asked in the call by investors that I have some thoughts on, and that's what we'll be taking a look at right now. Question on GTA 6, with a narrowed window of release, is there any associated changes to your plan regarding the live service portion of GTA 6? So Rockstar hasn't given any details on what its expectations are for the release. It's been a wonderful trailer that they put out that broke the internet. And more news will come from Rockstar in the fullness of time. Now, Strauss is just yapping, okay? He's just he's just straight up yapping. Saying absolutely nothing in the most amount of words. In the full <laughs> in the fullness of time, what a phrase. Rockstar hasn't said anything about GTA 6 online. Rockstar will talk about GTA 6 online when they talk about GTA 6 online in the fullness of time. A bit of a nothing answer, really, okay? But given Rockstar's history with their live service games, GTA 6 online will most likely not be available at launch. If you remember in the ancient times of 2013, GTA 5 came out on September 17th, 2013, and GTA Online came out on October 1st of the same year. The launch of GTA Online was a buggy nightmare, and it took Rockstar quite some time to fix all of the connection issues and crashes and all that stuff. Red Dead Redemption 2 had a similar launch, where the game came out on October 26, 2018, and the online mode came out November 27th, this time releasing the online service as a public beta. The benefit us players receive from this is that it gives us a few weeks to play through the story mode without having to worry about missing out on the launch of the online mode. Also, if they release their online mode and story mode at the same time, the player base would basically be split between two games, which doesn't seem like something Rockstar wants. I just had one question on GTA 6, this narrowing from calendar 25 to the fall of 25. Do you think there's an ancillary benefit to that of, of sort of syncing up with the holiday season? Or do you feel like GTA is such a powerful franchise that it really doesn't confer any sort of incremental benefit. While it probably doesn't matter, I think we'd all rather be in the release window that we're looking at now. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think it's pretty obvious that GTA 6 can release at literally any time and will end up being one of the greatest and fastest selling games of all time. So a bit of a pointless question. Unless we take it to mean that the full release date has nothing to do with it being so close to Christmas. Maybe it means the game won't release in December or November. Maybe it's a stretch to make such a statement from Strauss's answer here. But again, Rockstar likes releasing their games in October. They have a track record of this. So they probably won't release the game in December or November anyway. I mean, I'm not a... I'm not a business guy, okay? I'm not one of the investors in this uh, investors call, earnings call, okay? I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those big wigs. I'm not one of those big shots. But from my point of view, it would make more sense to release the game sooner, like in October. So instead of GTA 6 being the game you buy for Christmas, you already own the game because it came out three months ago. So instead of buying the game for Christmas, you instead buy a shark card. Hmm, look at that. Ooh, that's some business savvy, some business whiz. Some business whiz from me, okay? A fair amount of people have misunderstood the 
sequel, some making the claim that the game was delayed. GTA 6 has been internally delayed to fall of 2025. Which, of course, was not the case. They've just narrowed down the release date. This is why it's always a good idea to give a little time before posting a video about a developing story and not in the middle of the bloody earnings call. So let's read the exact quote from Take-Two Interactive that just dropped about five minutes ago. Five, five minutes, minutes ago. ago. You're fiending. You're fiending for the views, right? Just imagine being the type of person to comment first on a YouTube video and just increase the scale to being first to post a video about a current trending story. But when you're in the business of reporting the news, being first is more profitable than being correct. This isn't a dig at any individual. I just use TGG and GTA men simply as notable examples. I don't believe they were intentionally misinforming the public. YouTube doesn't offer an incentive to those who take the time to get the facts straight. YouTube instead offers an incentive to those who can break the story first. You can bet that in time, I too will make the same mistake in the future. But hey, little misinformation never hurt anyone, right? There have been some questions in these earnings calls about the GTA franchise as a whole that I found to be rather interesting. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my future coverage. In the meantime, I recommend you watch this video where I attempt to prove that ending C is the canon ending to GTA 5.